Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nerdgasm. I'm talking about this week's season, mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. Not much happened this week. It was more or less a big hoo-ha than what I thought it was. Not many people died, but less, less happened. Oh, the walls came down. Maggie's trapped on top of something. Well, the nurse has been taken by the wolves, which started a large argument between me and Lupine and Baby Cakes about what would you do? It would you take a life to save a life, or would you try to preserve it? Brings up a lot of questions. That would you fight to survive? How would you stay as stay as you are? No matter how many people will push you to the edge or beyond. Well, I believe this is gonna be like the same thing when the character in the comic books got taken in the in the taken by the survivors and the survivors did what they did. I ain't gonna spoil that, but. It was heartbreaking in the end because she became a large part of the group. But she became a large part of the group to Tara and the other two elves hanging with them. Uh, we lost Donna, which Donna went out swinging like most people was in that situation. I won't just lay down and take it, we'll shoot their way out and take some with you. The ending of it, it's a little wide open ended. The mall covered in zombie blood and guts. And the kids screaming mama, which is slowly gonna strike tension of the zombies, which is gonna cause a lot, a lot of trouble. Which in the comic books, which got him and his mother dead, which is, I believe it's gonna be the mid season premiere. Uh, things may happen in mid season. We're gonna get more of the wolves, more of the survivors returning. And Daryl's most likely being followed. And the wolf is most likely gonna bring the wolves back at the doors of the safe zone. Which with the safe zone covered most likely the survivors is gonna head out to the different communities outside the safe zone. Clear out the same song is going to take a lot of work, a lot of power. Well, we didn't get many. Sh we didn't get many deaths in this in this episode. What's up, Donna? Which what Don died in the comics was totally different. And the way she spoke about Rick, that she needed him and she respected him and saw a great man in him. And also asked him that he would take care of Spencer like he takes care of his people. But in the end, they're all his people. Which Rick is slowly getting to see that. And more, another big thing in this episode, we saw the final showdown between Rick and the boy. Carl and the boy, it was been looking to shoot him. Everybody thought Carl was gonna get shot in the head. It's still foreseeing to come. Eh. Glenn is finally getting back in the walls. Uh, some of the other safe zone people it's unknown what's gonna happen which this is more well, this slowly is following the storybook epic from the comics known as No Way Out, which is leading to, which is leading to All Out War, and which came from a wide new world, wide new world pertaining to the two other communities, All Out Wars, the fight with the survivors, which is going to most likely include the wolves, No Way Out. Is when they um get trapped in the safe zone, which we lose a lot of safe zone residents. Uh, 
expecting a bloodbath when he comes back in January. Expecting more shows, more characters. We don't know where most of the people at, from the Zay Zone is at the moment. But you got most of these secondary characters. But I'm hoping to see from the next season more of a battle between humans and humans. More of Morgan stepping up to trying to save lives. Uh, Rick stepping into the role. Seeing the kingdom. Seeing the hilltop community.